Hey everyone, welcome. This is my little version of Flip or Flop. I wanted to show you this home. Everybody's been asking me, hey, what do you do? What are you doing now? Well, as within the last year, year and a half, I've gotten back into my remodeling and relaunched T. Michael's Designs. So now I'm into investing properties with a couple of investors and we picked up this house for $109,000 here in Indio. It's in a $300,000 neighborhood and I wanna show you what we've been working on. Uh, they bought this at the courts of the um, steps and what they do is they go in, they make these bids and whoever wins the bid wins the house. They purchased this home not knowing that it had a swimming pool. So we were really lucky to find, well kind of lucky because the price is in the swimming pool, wait until you see it. It's not, it's not pretty. But anyway, this was a hoarder home. There was so much crap in here, it took about 10 truckloads of dumps and dumps of trucks to get rid of all this crap. I mean, it was, uh, anyway, it was a nightmare. Over $10,000 worth of uh, dump fees just to get rid of all the stuff here. We had to crawl over things to get through rooms. There was carpet on top of carpet with dog feces. It was disgusting. We didn't even know that there was a swimming pool here when they purchased the home because there was so much junk underneath and on top of the pool. The guy was walking in the backyard and fell in the pool, didn't even know it was here. Anyway, let me show you this house. So we're gonna completely renovate this. So I just took over this property just about, oh, maybe three, four weeks ago. So the guy that had it before really screwed over the investor. So I'm here to help him out now. So we're gonna be replacing the garage door, re-landscaping, redoing the entire interior of the house. But let me show you what we're doing right now. Um, I'm replacing the windows and I'm going to be making this window a little bit smaller here. I'm moving this window over as you can see back here in the back. I've um, filled it in and we're going to be making this a long vertical window because if you can tr see over here, these houses are all exactly the same and I want to make these look completely different and stand out from the rest of the neighborhood. So I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller. This was a seven foot wide window and I'm going to make it a four foot wide and five feet tall. And so we're going to narrow that in. And then there's these funky things and it looks like you want to put a statue in there of Mary and pray. <laughs> and let me show you this. This is really kind of interesting. Um, so what I'm going to do is this insert here. I'm going to take this off, I'm going to jackhammer all of this out, and the foundation as well. I don't know if you can see this down here, and I'm going to remove that and make this completely smooth. So then that way it will completely open it up, give it a whole new look. Above the window, or above the uh, front door here, I'm going to install a transom light, so it will give it a little bit more light, give some height to this front door, give it a whole dramatic look and I'm going to enclose the top up here so it's going to be boxed in and then there's this column on the left hand side of the front door that I'm going to extend out so they're both completely flush. This over here is old wood siding and I don't know if you can see down here but it's actually rotting away so I'm going to have this completely ripped off and we're going to stucco it. So now let's go in on the inside. I'm going to get a new front door as well. <coughs> They bought this door and it was the wrong door. It swings the wrong direction. So I'm gonna do what's called a one light and it's gonna have rain glass in it and then I'm gonna do the rain glass up above as well. And it's gonna look really sharp and it will open the correct direction. I'm gonna repurpose this door and use it in the garage, which I'll show you in a little bit. So come in and look at this. This was divided up into four different rooms. They had over here the formal living room this here was the dining room and then over here they had two walls and this divided off into the kitchen and then they had a separate family room over here <clears throat> so what i'm doing is there was a window over here and i'm taking this out and i'm putting in a sliding glass door here because there's a swimming pool in the back corner so i'm going to take this and have stepping stones going out so then this way when you walk into the house you can actually look out and see a beautiful swimming pool and then you'll also be able to look out and see a gorgeous view because we have our beautiful mountains um, of palm springs and you look down towards la quinta and it's just really breathtaking views, especially the sunsets at night here. Then as we go into the kitchen, 
there used to be two windows here. And this is where the kitchen sink used to be. And then there was a peninsula that came out over here on this side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two corner windows over here. This way you can be able to look out and see the swimming pool and let me show you why. Come this way. As we enter into the backyard, <clears throat> here's the pool. Now, imagine this completely covered. They didn't even know that this pool was here. This had so much junk all the way around. Let me look, show you the other side of the yard. This here as well was completely covered. We're talking about my shoulder height all the way through. So he walked through here and did not even know. So here are the two windows that were here before. So we're gonna seal those up and then right here is where I'm gonna put the window. So let me take you over here and show you. So as we go back over here, now as you'll see, we're gonna have the two corner windows in the kitchen that will overlook the swimming pool. Great for um, investment purposes because people like to look out their kitchen window and see their kids swimming in the pool. Right now, you can't do that. You're in the kitchen, you don't know if your kids are swimming or under the water. So it's gonna be much better and much safer too. We're gonna to put the sliding glass door here. It's gonna be a little bit more off to the, uh, towards the fireplace. Gonna put a new pool pump in, replaster the swimming pool. I don't know if you can see how bad the swimming pool is here. It's really bad. We're gonna put two drains in, replaster, new tile going to look really sharp. Then if we go back in here, this is the family room, but now it's going to be the main room. Look at all this junk. This is, this is about as bad as it was when the hoarders lived here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a big island here. So we're going to have a huge island, which is going to be nice. It's going to go right across here. I'm going to put three pendant lights, which are going to be fantastic. We're going to have a corner sink, like I was saying earlier. I'm going to put the stove here. And I'm pushing the kitchen out towards the old dining room. So now it's going to be one big great room, which is going to be nice. So the family room now is going to become the all-purpose room getting rid of the living room, the formal living room, the formal dining room. Nobody uses them anymore, right? So now I'm gonna turn the living room into the actual dining room. We're gonna reface the fireplace, clean that up a bit, call it a day, make this one big nice living space because everybody likes to live all in one room nowadays. As we head down here, what we've also done is we've had to remove a bearing wall. And this bearing wall now, as you can see up here, We've got a post holding this up. So we're having to run a major beam that's going across from the sliding glass door all the way across the, through the family room now. And then we're going to have to put a post over here. And now we were just told that we're going to be putting in a support down below and pour a new footing. So that's going to have to be done right behind this ladder here. Is that not what you said? Yeah. Yeah. When are you going to do that? Yeah, because it's on the four inch lab. I mean, it doesn't need to be right away, but definitely we can just leave it on the four inch lab. Yeah. And why, and why if we do that? Tell everybody if we do that, what will happen? Well, if, you don't, if we don't do that, then it'll crack. It'll crack. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. See? So you have to do things right, people. It's just like this. The people before I was explaining to you. They pulled this wall out without knowing that it was a bearing wall, and the guys that were here did not know that it was a bearing wall, but they should have, because if they're in this business, they should do this. So now they've hired the right person, so we're getting this done correctly. So anyway, so we're getting the beam across here. Then I've ordered, or ordered, open, I should say, ordered open, yeah, it's kind of close. Open this wall here to the family room into the hallway, because the hallway was so freaking dark. It was terrible. So now it's completely open. There's a lot more light, as you can see, into the hallway because it was like going into a cave. As you see here, we've got this framed in for the transom above the new front door. And let's walk now into the hallway here. And as we come into the hallway, we go into this bedroom. As you can see, I have <coughs> put in, oops, move my hand back there. Hey, there we go. Hey, it's my first podcast. Uh, <laughs> we're putting the longer window in here and filling in this old opening here that we used to have because it was right underneath the eave and I hate having a window underneath the eave. Let's 
see the mountains, and you really couldn't see the mountains. You'd look directly underneath the eaves, and now we'll have a nice view here. So this is all being completely redone, replastered. We scraped all the ceilings, got rid of all the acoustical ceilings, which is great. We're going to put new closet doors, mirrored doors here, and everything. You have a question. Okay, we got a question. We got a live question here. Yes, what's our live question? Yes, you can pull that out. See, we have a problem here. Look at this. This way, we'll have to cut it here. Okay. And probably this way. All right. And this way, and replace all this square because it's signed up. I can see, you can see right here. Right. Yeah. We can't just screw it in or screw it up? Uh, no, it's, it's all that. It's all okay. All right. Go ahead and remove it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at the stud. The stud is two oh, inches the stud's off. like, yeah, two inches away. All right. Yeah, so that has to come off. All right. No problem. All right. Cool. So we just got this done, which is the new sh tub shower combo, which looks great. So this is kind of a wave. It's got a marble pattern to it. It's a porcelain tile. So it looks fantastic. And so it does our new tub. So we've got the new acrylic tub. It's great. We're going to put a vanity in here. All new doors and everything will look wonderful when we're done. And let's move down through here. Open this up. Hallway here. We had a big closet with a door on it. I'm going to put a tall pantry in, like a linen closet here. Not much going on in here. We're just doing some drywall work. And in the garage, we're going to get a new garage door. That's going in. We got some lighting done. We're going to paint this all out, keep the cost down as much as possible. I told you I was going to repurpose the front door, so we're going to put the front door here. Going to get a new water heater and put a tankless in here because this is all rotted out. So that's going to help quite a bit and keep costs down. Walk this way. This is really nice in here. This is the master bedroom. And what we're doing in here is the master shower. And with the master shower here, We've opened up this wall. There used to be a wall, I don't know if you can see where this used to be, up across here. And it divided off the toilet area. So now what we've done is completely open it up and made one big open space and continued the tile right behind the toilet, which is nice. And then just have the shower down go at the bottom. Let me see if I can get this over here so you can see it a little bit better. And then that way it just completely opens the entire bathroom up. We've reframed the window, so now we're gonna have it vertical instead of horizontal. So this way I'll be able to put a sconce in here and a nice long mirror and then another sconce over on the other side with a long mirror as well. And then we'll have new vanity and everything. It's looking great. I picked the grout out, so I sent it over to Pablo. You have the color? Yep, the we're gonna go with Stormy. Okay. It'll look nice. So anyway, so that's what we're doing. Hope you enjoyed this little tour and we will keep you updated on what is going on here at this home. So far we are um, about, I would say two weeks into this. Still got a few more weeks left to go. The windows are coming this week and then we have the garage door going in. Uh, this week they're gonna get all this debris cleared out today and then they're gonna start doing the framing of the ceiling and then the electrical is gonna be started. Once we get all that framing done, the electrical done, then we can start the drywall. I can get the cabinetry. Cabinetry is all ready to go. They said I can deliver any day. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this and please stay tuned for some more of my little podcasts. Bye.